Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is a small video on usage of Bootstrap 5 model in the View 3 application. Okay, here I have created a small V3 application and it is up and running. Okay, so now, now in the app view, let me remove this welcome component. Okay. And let me create a one more component here in the component section. I will name it like home. Here. So template. Script. Okay. I'm going to use the composition API. So I'm going to add setup attribute. Okay, this is my home page. So let me load this home page on my app component. Okay. Okay, let's import the home component. Okay, now let me add some HTML here. Okay. Okay, let's check whether our component is loading or not. So here our component is loading. Now let me add a button here so that on clicking that button, let's open the bootstrap by model. Okay. So let me add a button here. Okay. Okay, let's check. So button also coming. So the thing is here, I want to use the bootstrap, right? I have to add bootstrap CSS and JS file. Because of that, the bootstrap styling is missing. So go to bootstrap website. So in the bootstrap website, here we have a CDN link. So copy the CSS link and go to our index.html file and add just above the closing header tag and copy the js link and paste it above the closing body tag okay now if i check our website see now button is coming okay now our main goal is to just how to open and close the bootstrap model in our view application right so let me create a uh, one more component okay so in the components only i will create one more component i will uh, name it like alert something some alert messages are displaying pop up okay so here let me add template so now in this component, separate component, I'm going to add my bootstrap HTML, okay? So you can use this component wherever you want. That is why I have created it as a separate component, okay? So let's go to bootstrap docs and check for the model. And let's copy one of the example here let me copy this html okay so here is the bootstrap model html and it is the button button we have already created right let's copy this model okay one of the important thing in the bootstrap model is id because we are going to use this id in our script file to access the pop up okay so give some meaningful name i will name it like alert pop up and you can give any uh 
heading like alert okay this is for heading model title and if you have any content you can add here okay body and here there are two default buttons one is for close okay another one is some save changes it is showing default so this button will be like do something so in our cases uh, something like uh, for delete confirmation if you think it is like a delete confirmation on clicking this button delete api call must be do means uh, some application related actions this button will do okay now first let's invoke this component okay on clicking this button so for that first we have to import the component into our home component because we want to use it right uh, so our home component will be the parent component and alert will be our child component so let me add the alert component okay and we must import the namespace here okay copy this Okay. So on button click, we have to open the pop-up. That means we to open this alert pop-up, we should have a control over this bootstrap model, right? So to get the control over this bootstrap model, bootstrap provided a JS method. Okay. So if you scroll down here and go to via javascript link so like this you can initialize the bootstrap okay and we can access it okay so let me copy this so where we have to add this uh, instance bootstrap invocation instance we cannot add it directly because at the time component html might be available may not be available so if you add like this directly okay to get the instance of the bootstrap we are going to get the uh, error in our application okay so to get the instance only once the html is available means we have to initialize the instance in the on mount okay so let's first let's add a variable like my model okay but we won't initialize the bootstrap instance to that model. We want to initialize that in the mount method. So bootstrap provides method like lifecycle method like on mounted. Okay. See, it is automatically imports from the view. So in the on mount, I can add that bootstrap model code. I have copied right this one okay, it is a simple javascript uh, code so here options i can remove okay so here what it is doing means initializing the bootstrap instance so if you have n number of bootstrap instance okay so to pick up the particular bootstrap instance we have to provide the id so i have mentioned right the id is important so please make to give the meaningful name so here is the reason we should uh, take care of the id so copy the idea for bootstrap model and add it here now to this my model instance have full control over this bootstrap pop-up okay so this bootstrap dot model is automatically available in the windows directly so you can use like this okay let me create a method like show pop-up okay so here i can do like i can use this my model instance and i can call the method like show okay so this is going to open the bootstrap model pop-up so we have to register that click event uh, to this button okay so to register the click event we know at the right click and show pop up 
okay that is my method so let's test it okay Okay, let's check now button is loading now let's click and check see here alert demo and body i am successfully opened my bootstrap model okay now here we have three kind of action buttons two close buttons one do something so here close automatically closes the pop-up okay so if i go to the pop-up so here there is a data bs dismiss dismiss some attribute is there right so this helps to hide the open pop-up same thing is available for a cross button also okay so there is automatic closing uh, for these buttons okay now the thing is we have to do some action for do something button okay so here alert is tailed component to our home component so now, now the thing is the do something event must be passed from child component to our parent component okay so let me create a method like constant do something so here you can call your apis okay if it is a delete button or some alert or some kind of action so this method must be invoked for this button click okay so do something here i just do a console log click do something okay now to listen a event from the child component to parent component we have a technique like emit okay go to our alert component and here i can register a click event and i want to emit this if event from child to parent upwards i want to emit so for that i can use dollar dot emit okay and here i have to give the event name so do something i am giving some random name okay do something click this is my event name okay it must be string here okay so wh what is this name means it is a custom event in our parent component okay so in our parent component we have to register this do something click event so copy the do something click event name and i can add it on the alert at element in the home component okay so now it is a some event so for this event i want to invoke do something method this method okay that's it here just we are emitting the event from the child to parent let's check it so inspect element go to console log and open the model and click on do something so if i check console see do something is click so after your uh, job inside of this do something method we have to hide the pop up right so for that i can use my model instance dot hide okay here i am manually hiding so let's check again open the pop up click on do something see it is hided and in console it is logged okay so that's all about small video on how to use the bootstrap model in the uj's application thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like the video and share the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off